Hello everyone, Marwan Hussein is here. Uh, in this video, we need to learn how to create this uh, simple uh, furniture. This tutorial is for beginners and for the people that want to learn how to create a simple geometry from start to finish. So we will start creating this and um, unwrap it and give it a material and make us something nice. All right, let's get started. Let's go to Blender first. I got the image right here. I will drag it and put it inside Blender. But first, let's split the uh, window to two window. All right. Uh, all what you need, you have uh, uh, two choices. You can put the mouse right here in this corner and click and drag, and you will get two window. Or you can put the mouse on this edge, right click and uh, split uh, horizontal vertical split, and make a cut like this. But I will cancel it. All right, after that, all what we need to do is to go to the editor and switch this to image editor because I want to add the image right here. You can make it small. For me, I will activate the screencast key uh, because um, I need you to see the buttons that, that I'm pressing here. All right, so now whatever button I press, you, you can see if I hit space or control or whatever button. Uh, by the way, you uh, don't have this, uh, this not come default with Blender. You need to download it from the internet, but uh, you don't need to download it. All right, so let's get started. Let's go to the folder and let's bring the image, and drag and drop it right here. All right, that's cool. Uh, now I have the light and camera. We don't need them for, for now. I will delete them and uh, let's see how can we start. First thing, let's go to the dimension here. I need to work with centimeter, so let's go to this section, scene properties, and go to units, and let's change the length from meter to centimeter. And I have a cube already here. I need to change the dimension of the cube. So open this panel, go to the item, select the cube, and change the setting that we have here for the X and Y and Z. All right, so the length from here to here is almost 50 centimeter. So I can add 50 centimeter right here. All right, so let's add in the X uh, 50 centimeter. And for the height for this, I don't know, but it's about uh, 45, something like this. Let's add here in the Z uh, 45. And uh, now I can move the cube up just a little bit. And for the depth here, you can add 50 centimeter. I mean, in the Y, that will work as well. And we got something like this. You, you, we can compare it and see if this makes sense or not. Or right, maybe we can change the Z just a little bit to 40. I don't know, I feel that uh, this result is nicer. All right, that's cool. I will accept this. So this is the first thing before you add any details. All right, so now let's see how can we create these two holes here. I will tap to the edit mode. I need to go to the edit mode so I can uh, create what I need to create here. So uh, you can go to this uh, icon and switch it to edit mode, or you can hit tab from the keyboard to go to the edit mode. Okay, now I will add an edge right here in the middle. Hit control with R to add edge one here when you confirm it the egg will uh, still follow your mouse just hit right click to leave it in the center so now i got one egg right here after that uh, we can bevel this egg we can hit control b to bevel it and give it just a little bit of thickness uh, when you confirm the bevel you can open the menu right here and give it whatever thickness you want so for me uh, the width is five centimeter Let's add uh, five centimeter, that's too much. I don't know, let's add three. Let's see what we will get. All right, if we compare the result with the shape is, is small, but I think I will cancel it. I think we got some problem with the scale. And yeah, the scale now, uh, the number of the scale is changed. We need to sw switch those back to one. I mean, we need to apply the scale. That's very important inside Blender when you manipulate the scale, just apply it. So 
to apply it hit control a open the apply menu and hit apply scale and and now you are in the uh, the safe side all right now let's go back let's tap the edit mode and hit control b to bevel this edge and let's accept any result and here we can manage it so i will add 0.5 all right that's too much small let's change this to 0.7 maybe or maybe we can add one centimeter yeah one centimeter here that's cool one edge in the middle here as well and right click to leave it in the center i will bevel it as well control b and bevel it and uh, keep pushing this edge until you uh, get the same distance that we got here so this distance is almost close to what we have right here all right the same scenario i will add an edge right here as well so hit control r and click and move the edge there and one here as well control r and add one here make sure that you got uh, a square right here so i can move this just a little bit to the z key to the z or you can use this move tool select the whole edge loop and move it from here you can hold shift to make the movement very slow to control it better sorry grab the z sorry we got some problem something like this and from this side everything is okay that's nice i will accept it that's cool now we got this all right after that what i will do is i will grab this face go to the face mode just go to this icon right here grab this face and this face and maybe i can extrude those inside first so i will hit e to push those inside for example right here and i will duplicate these faces out so i will hit shift d to take a copy now this copy following the mouse i need to move this to the y so just hit y and put this temporal right here all right now we just need to create this small triangle here let's see how can we achieve this it's very simple i'm just going to hit control r to add a here in the middle and one here as well and they grab this and this and hit control b and bevel them just a little bit and rotate the wheel of the mouse to add one edge in the middle and then hit left click to confirm them like this after that i will go to the vertex hit number one from the keyboard to grab this vertex hold here to grab this hit g to the z to move those down just a little bit like this all right now we're cutting something nice okay now after that tab out or sorry let's grab these two faces like this and separate them from the group separate this from this okay so to separate them i will hit p from the keyboard to open the separate menu and then choose selection to separate the selection now i will tap out from this geometry to work with this one so tab out grab this tab in hit a select everything and just hit e to extrude and give it a little bit of thickness like this all right that's cool tab out and now you can grab this and move it the origin dots of this new geometry is still back right there because we copy these faces from this big one so i will reset the origin dot and put it here in the middle for these uh, two doors so i will grab this it's already selected right click and go to set origin origin to geometry and watch the origin dot jump from here to here okay now let's activate the move tool and you can push this inside you can eyeball it just a little bit like this all right that's cool so now we can say that we finished with this okay what's the next step the next step we need to create this curvy shape uh, let's see how can we do this all right i will select this and tap to the edit mode and maybe i can grab one face for example let's go to the face mode hit three grab this face hit shift d to the x i mean 
hit X and move the chest a little bit here temporarily. And then separate it. P and then S separate it. Cool. Now let's tap out from this to work with this one. So tap out, grab this, tap into the edit mode. Now we can go to the edge or vertices and grab those two vertices, hold shift and grab the second one and move those down. And for those here, you can move those up just a little bit. And you can eyeball it, maybe here, like this. And maybe I can make an extrusion to push the new face to this direction. So hold shift, sorry, hit E to the X. So I made an extrusion, but the new extrusion following the mouse, I need to move this new extrusion to the X axis. So after that, hit X and move it just a little bit, maybe right here temporarily and for this side as well hit E to the X and move it right here alright that's great alright that's cool now we can go to the top view so we can align these two lines you need to hit Z to go to the wireframe or you can go to the wireframe just move the header you can go to the wireframe by activating this icon here and as you see, we have some overlapping, so I will take these vertices back and align align them like this. And go back to the solid uh, mode, and there we go. So now they are aligned. Alright, the second step, we need to grab these two vertices. Hold here to grab those as well. And I need to bevel. So I will hit Ctrl B to bevel. And now I got some beveling right here. Let's give this, you can uh, accept the bevel at any point, and after that you can, from this menu, you can edit everything. For example, is the curve okay, or we need more? If we need more, we can push the width more, hold shift and move it. If this okay, we need to go to the segment and increase the number of the segment here. So now we got nice number of segments. Very cool, I will accept this result, that's it. Now we need to move the cast a little bit down. So I will grab all the vertices like this, okay? And hit G, or you can move it from here, just a little bit like this. Okay, if we are okay and everything cool, we can uh, just give it a thickness. So I will hit A to select all the geometry, I will hit Alt with E to open the extrude menu and use an extrude along normal to make a new extrusion along each face normal. Move the mouse just a little bit to get the extrusion, but I need to be inside. Accept it at any point, and here you can add the values. So point two looks nice. Uh, sorry, um, uh, two and minus. And yes, activate even thickness. <clears throat> I think we don't need it because it's even. And uh, just uh, close this. That's cool. Okay, now let's go to the front view. Just hit num number one from the numpad, or you can hit the tilde key and move the mouse toward the front like this. And tab out from this and move this new geometry close to the design. Something like this. Or you can go here the G to the X axis to move it. Something like this. All right, if we have some variation in the distance between those, we can move the whole design up or down. You have the freedom to do this. So I pull it until you get the result that you like. All right, I think now the design is very close and here we have more space, so we need to respect that and uh, try to achieve it. Let's go to the front, hit number one from the number, tap to the edit mode, go to the wireframe, move the header just a little bit, and go to the wireframe, grab these vertices, move those up, maybe right here, grab those, move those down just a little bit, the same distance, you can eyeball it. When you finish, go to solid, and there we go, tap out. All right, after that, we need to create this legs here. And they should be easy to create. 
I will hit shift A to open the add menu and I will add a cube. It's very big. I will hit S and make it very tiny and small like this. You can move it like this to the Y and then to the X to put it in the right place. We can go to the front just to see the result better. And when you be satisfied, tap, go to the vertex, jump to the wireframe so we can select those uh, four vertices move those just a little bit up like this and there we go tap uh, sorry his Z again and that's it tab out okay hit shift D to take a copy right here I think what we created is very big so I will delete this new Kobe and grab this I will scale this hit S and scale it but I don't need to scale this to the Z axis so I will hit shift Z to cancel the Z axis and scale it to the Y X and Y scale it just a little bit and now I think we are good control A and apply the scale because we manipulate the scale you can push this just a little bit right here shift D and take a copy to the Y I mean shift D with Y and that's cool now grab those hit shift and grab this shift D and then Z to move this up you can go to the front and all right we got problem with the distance all right that's very cool it's and easy I will like, grab this and move this up and put in the middle something like this and now we can grab those tab grab the upper vertices in the x-ray mode or in the wireframe just hit Z and in the front <clears throat> I just going to move those up just a little bit and the same scenario for those hit Z grab those and push them down just a little bit all right now we, we are finished we just need to add now a bevel modifier to make this smooth and we will go, be good to go tab out let's start with this big piece I will give it a bevel let's go to the modifier and let's add bevel modifier and now as you see bevel targeting the corners and that's what we need but the amount here is very big I need to add maybe one centimeter and let's see what we will get that's still too much all right point three centimeter point three I think that's big point two Alright, point two is okay. I will add three segment here, and I will go to the shading section and activate hard and normal. Hard and normal will give you very nice shading. Activate it, but when you do this, you will have some warning here. It tells you that you need to enable the auto smooth. Alright, we need to go here and let's go to the normal after that and activate auto smooth as you see everything is perfect and nice okay this amount of uh, bevel is very nice and uh, cool but we still got some weird lines here okay fixing this is something very easy you just need to hit right click and choose shade smooth and that's it all right that's cool we got nice result I need to copy the same results uh, the same bevel on the other uh, geometry here so let's start with those four legs I will grab this hold here to grab this and this one and this one what I will do is I will make them one piece I will hit control with the J to make them one piece all right now they become one piece and I think for some reason we didn't push the vertices here for this so I will tap go to the wireframe crop those exact of wireframe and I just need to move them and align them with the surface like this and that's it cool tab out all right let's give them shade smooth select them right click shade smooth and then go activate auto smooth and now I will apply the same modifier for this so select it hold shift to grab the geometry with the bevel modifier go to the modifier go to this arrow 
and copy to select it like this and now we just copy the modifier to the new piece here that's very cool let's uh, repeat that for this piece as well select it right click shade it smooth and activate the auto smooth for this and then with this one selected hold shift select the geometry with the modifier go to the modifier go to the auto copy to the selected and very cool we got it this one as well grab it right click shade smooth activate auto smooth with this one selected hold shift and grab this because we apply the modifier here go to the modifier section go to this arrow copy to select it and now we finished here very cool all right now the next step is to give this a material before we do this i just need to push the wood just a little bit like this all right just select this one tab and go to the wireframe his z and grab this side and that's it and move them just a little bit forward like this maybe from this side i will ignore this side and then tap out that's it you are finished okay we finished here in the next video we will learn how to add uh, material and uh, add a light and render it okay see you next